What is going on YouTube? This is Joey Boy and I am bringing you guys some more Pokemon Showdown Live. Just some good old overused tier. Uh, I haven't actually done this in a while. Uh, I hadn't really laddered at all since kind of the tailwind of the last uh, suspect test for Keldeo. I didn't quite make requirements. I kind of started out early. Uh, or late rather. I started too late to really uh, catch up with everyone else. But and then I didn't really ladder for a while after that. I uh, just did a little bit of laddering last night. Got this Joy Boy Games alt up to uh, 2,000 rating, so we can get some hopefully decent games. Um, someone I saw a comment on one of my videos not too long ago asking to maybe do a Showdown Live. Uh, above the 2000 mark because they said that's when they were really having some trouble. Anyway, we're just going to be using the really standard hyper offensive team that's going around recently. Let's jump right in. Uh, and first game, we get a weird one. He's got Tangrowth, Cobalion. Both weird choices. Well, I mean, not weird. You see them, but they're not exactly standard. Um. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna get my rocks up early. He doesn't have a spinner. Uh, Cobalion comes on. I have Yachi Berry, so even if he has the uh, HP Ice, I don't have to worry about it. He substitutes. Alright, that's interesting. And definitely break it with the Earthquake, and I don't really have too much to worry about from him. I'll take Rough Skin damage from that at least. Um, and he could definitely uh, take me out this next time. But that's alright, uh, Garchomp is really here to set up Stealth Rocks. Plus, you know, he gotta do some decent damage to that Combalion. Um, could just revenge it with Mach Punch with Breloom. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would go down. I think we'll do that. Uh, because he doesn't have a great answer to Breloom. Yeah, he's not gonna he's not gonna do that quite yet. This will break Breloom Sash, however, which is annoying. Uh, this is a Sash Breloom. Sorry, Sash Breloom is awesome, so good. Uh, it can mess up so many different teams, and I might actually just want to break this Alakazam Sash right off the bat, uh, just because it's so annoying after having to deal with that late game. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, just break the Alakazam's predicted Focus Sash. You know, he might not have one, but that is the kind of standard Alakazam. Um, I think I'm gonna go into Scizor here. Could potentially go into Volcarona, but his, Dragon, uh, his Garchomp is stopping a sweep there. Um, Starmie's not safe. Dragonite, you could go into it. I think we're gonna go into Scizor. Uh, the thing with this is, I don't know, let's, oh, what is it you have to do, like, Tangrowth, no, that's not right. <laughs> I can never remember these commands on Pokemon Showdown. Um, I was going to check Tangrowth speed tier, why don't we just check it the old-fashioned way. Um, As I run speed on my scissor let's see if he's got no speed I definitely have more than that yeah so we're gonna set up I oh <laughs> well that was definitely a misplay oh god HP fire is just not as common on Alakazam these days that was a uh, I should have just bullet punched really but oh, that was just a misplay there's no ifs ands or buts around it I guess now I'll go into Dragonite and try and, yeah. We can set up on the Alakazam. He doesn't have the HP Ice. I assumed he had the HP Ice. It's, I mean, well, I don't know. I guess it works in those situations, but he's going to go into Garchomp. Scarf Chomp, maybe? Oh, probably, right? Oh, if it's Scarf Chomp. Hmm. I think he might win. Well, I guess we just need to weaken it was extreme speed for Volcarona to sweep. Let's just do that. Let's just weaken it with extreme speed. Kills us with outrage. 
Uh, we're running some bulk on Volcarona, but we'll have to take two if it is scarfed. I have to assume he's scarfed. So, oh, go with Starmie. Not quite showing this damage. He might be able to one shot us, but then he might go into confusion, which means we have more of a shot of setting it with Volcarona. This match is not going the way I would have planned, <laughs> really. Um, gotta go right for the Ice Beam. He's definitely Scarf Chomp. We do live, which is good. We take out Guard Chomp. Uh, and I guess he probably goes into. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we get the double down here. Mmm. If he goes into Tangrowth, he's probably just going to want to Sleep Powder off the bat. He goes into Alakazam, who I don't think can one-shot us. So I think we might have this game in the bag. I don't think Kubalion has any... Uh, I th oh, do we kill him? I don't think we have to worry. Sorry. <laughs> so Kubalion... Goes down to Fiery Dance, uh, Rotom W to Giga Drain. We do have the Pasho Berry. Uh, Tangrowth goes down to Fiery Dance. So, oh, and he is saying GG, so maybe I guess he knows what, what we have. We do have the Pasho Berry, so we even live a Hydro Pump. Unless he gets a, like a super crit. <laughs> I don't know. A regular crit would work. So I guess we do have this one in the bag then. So there you go. That is the the nature of this deck. You really just have to wear down uh, the opposing team. So I guess first thing I wanted to kind of talk about above 2,000. Above 2,000, obviously, the first thing is the opponents are going to be better when you get above uh, 2,000 rating. And the the level of play is better, which means you have to be thinking much farther ahead. Uh, for example, I knew in this game if I could break Alakazam's Sash, weaken or take out Garchomp, Volcarona had a really good chance of sweeping. And that's exactly what happened. So you want to... Uh, you want to kind of plan your moves ahead and plan accordingly, and that's why offensive teams are so good in this metagame, because there's so many powerful offensive threats, and when coupled with like fairly good forward thinking you can usually have one of your Pokemon sweep at the end so there we go we got the first win which is good I actually wasn't looking too good for a little while but it kind of that game also kind of shows you that don't assume you've lost if you got down um, like where was it by like turn before I, when the scarf jump came out we were down like three to five and then we lost Starmie pretty quick after that, and Dragonite, and Volcarona kind of led us back. Anyway, up against the Sun team now. Uh, he does have a spinner. I think we're going to lead off right with Breloom. And this is why I like this team a lot, because you kind of have two different leads. You can lead with Garchomp or Breloom. Tends to be what you want to do. He's going to lead out with Jirachi. And we're going to go right for the Spore. He doesn't really have a dedicated... Uh, sleep absorb on this team like so oh, oh well that's nice that's always such a such a help <laughs> when you can get through the the Jirachi we're gonna go right for the low sweep if he wants to stay in he's gonna start losing his speed um, I have a feeling he might be scarfed we're gonna go for the low sweep again I kind of want to go into Garchomp um, predicting but Breloom doesn't do a whole lot against this guy's team. He could, you know, because if this Jirachi wakes up this turn, uh, he could take out Breloom. And, but the thing is, is Breloom isn't really helpful later on in this game. It could potentially get a later game sleep on Donphan, which would be kind of nice uh, to limit its spinning. But we're going to go for low sweep again. See, he is going to switch out here, which is a good thing. Now, oof. Critical hit, low sweep on nine tails. All right, Breloom. Um, but that doesn't matter too much because after a low sweep, nine tails would be outsped by Breloom, and I'm pretty sure uh, it would two hit KO. So he's he's kind of complaining a bit. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Um, He's going to go into Volcarona, 
Oh, he, sorry. <laughs> and he's going to go into Volcarona. Perfect uh, stop to Breelum, but we do have the Dragonite and kind of the Garchomp. He's going to go right into Don Fan. Um, expecting that. I was a good double switch on his part. Uh, but we don't lose too much just by going into Starmie here. Because I can't imagine he would uh, Earthquake off the bat. Um, I do want to maintain these rocks off the field. We're just going to go right for the Rapid Spin. He goes back into Volcarona. We lose nothing just by going once again into Dragonite. If he wants to double switch into Donphan, that's fine. He's going to do it again. We're just going to go right back into Starmie. Um, assurance. Wow, that's kind of an old school move. <laughs> now we can Ice Beam. He might make the same play again and go into Volcarona, which is fine. But we're building up that damage on Volcarona, who's definitely a threat. Um, even with good checks like Dragonite or Garchomp. <laughs> so let's, let's try and plan ahead a little bit. Um, if Don Fan can be weakened, um, and it looks like we might even be able to put Don Fan to sleep because he might just be sacking his Jirachi. So if Don Fan can be weakened, um, and maybe even Venusaur taken out, Garchomp does really well. And there you go, I don't get that play. He brings in his Don Fan. Um, I can't imagine what he was expecting. We're just going to keep Ice Beaming. Uh, now he sacks Jirachi to the sleep, so that was an odd choice of plays on his part. But we're going to get off topic. So Garchomp is really good against Sun Teams. Um, he brings out his, Venus, uh, his Venusaur now. And we might sack Breloom here. Starmie might be helpful later on in the game. Um just because it does naturally outspeed Infernape and Volcarona and Donphan and can still spin, which really helps. So we are going to sack Breloom. Breloom's not going to be too much more of use for this game. So he takes out Breloom. We can go into Dragonite here and freely go for the Fire Punch. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. He's going to bring out Donphan, but it's definitely going to go down. So that was one thing that was stopping uh, Garchomp. Um, he brings out Volcarona, uh, well, that's an odd play, he, I guess he's gonna, we might as well just Dragon Dance, he goes right for the Fiery Dance, probably trying to get a little bit of, maybe Fiery Dance, special attack raises, um, maybe, you know what, I bet he thought we were Choice Banded, now we can go right for the Outrage, Take out the Volcarona. Um, if he has Scarf and Fernape, he might be able to revenge us, but it doesn't look like he does. He might have HP, Ice, Sludge Bomb is not enough to take out Dragonite, even after Multi Scale has broken. So down goes that Venusaur, and we do have this game wrapped up. Uh, my opponent made some definitely questionable plays. Um, just because, you know, bringing the Don Fan on the Ice Beam is weird, but but what are you going to do? So it doesn't look like he has Scarf. I'm just wondering if he does. No, we can still take it out with uh, Garchomp. So he goes right for the Mach Punch, and we take out Inferno. So there you go, second game. 2-0 um, at the moment. Uh, again, the my opponent made some really questionable plays, and... Uh, and he's actually asking for suggestions. Um, uh, maybe I'll just PM him after this video. I don't really want to get into his into his suggestions at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna tell him. I'll help him out a little bit. So, but there we go. That was a that was a very clean victory for us. Really, uh, this team does well against some teams. If again you just plan ahead. You know what you need to weaken. And let's try and get one more game in here. Uh, we're currently at just about mm, just about 15 minutes. So hopefully we can get one more quick one in. I want to try and keep this under 20 minutes. So again, above 2,000, really, 
it's just the next level. You just have to be thinking more about your plays, um, thinking more about your opponent's team. Again, this is a weird, a weird team. Uh, I can't tell you last time I saw a Nidoqueen. Queen. Well, I can tell you last time I saw a Nidoqueen. Queen. I guess Ladybug. Smoking user Ladybug still uses Nidoqueen. Queen. But it's definitely a weird team. Uh, it's actually interesting because he has something kind of to deal with both of my leads. Um, I'm going to lead with... Excuse me, I'm going to lead with Garchomp. He was maybe expecting me to lead with uh, Breloom. I'm going to just Sword Stance right up as predictably he goes into Fortress. Now I can just start whittling this down because I really want to try and get rid of his spinner as quickly as possible. So he's going to reveal the HP Ice. Um, going to go for the Earthquake again. He does not... So there we go. His spinner is gone. Maybe that was especially defensive. Uh, especially defensive Fortress. I want to keep Garchomp because I really want to get those rocks up. So I'm actually going to bring out Starmie here. Um, as he sets up his own rocks. And I'm just going to Rapid Spin them. Uh, it looks like this might... I kind of want to say this is a Sash uh, Mammoth Swine. So even if he takes us out with an Earthquake here, as he does, and he is revealed to be Life Orb, we do keep the rocks off, at the very least. Um, so he's a Life Orb Mammoth Swine. Mammoth Swine's definitely a threat. Um, I think Life Orb Bullet Punch will take it out, though. We want to try and... We don't want him setting up these rocks again, is the thing. So we have to try and maintain pressure against that Mammoth Swine in particular. So he's going to bring out his Nidoqueen, Queen, takes that Bullet Punch really well. Nidoqueens Queens actually have been running, they run kind of very sp special oriented sets because of sheer force. So I'm expecting some kind of fire move here. I'm going to go out to Garchomp, we might be seeing him lay Toxic Spikes as well, as he does do just that. Uh, I do want to get uh, Stealth Rocks up as quickly as possible as he just roars me out into Volcarona. Volcarona doesn't have a great matchup against Nero Queen. Um, uh, I, we might, we're just gonna fire off a Bug Buzz. Um, <laughs> that's my bad. Uh, sometimes I forget. Nero Queen's one of those weird matchups where sometimes I just forget uh, how it all works out. So he's gotten his second layer of Toxic Spikes up, which means he probably has thought his Nidoqueen Queen has done its job. He might go into Chansey here. Um, so, you know what? We are going to double into Breloom, expecting the Chansey switch. And he just roars. That's a fair, fair move. Roars me out into Garchomp. I'm just going to go right for the Earthquake. Takes out the Nidoqueen, Queen. But the... He, he sacked his Nino Queen there, but it kind of did its job. It got these two layers of Toxic Spikes up, which will be uh, really detrimental to my team. Now, at the moment, Dragonite is my win condition. So we want to try and keep the rocks up, and we want to try and eliminate this Mammoth Swine. So I'm going to go right for the Outrage. He does go for the Ice Shard. That's fine. Um, but now we can... Uh, see, the thing is, I think... I run kind of a bulky variant on my Volcarona. Uh, let's check check very quickly how many speed EVs I'm running on that. Um, so 265. Man Swine definitely outspeeds that. Uh, and let's just very quickly check 265. Where are we at? So if he's adamant. Uh, we do outspeed him. That's something we could check because Scizor again, we could bring out, but he'll go right into Gyarados. Um, and, and Volcarona isn't too helpful anyway in this matchup. We're going to go right for the Giga Drain. If we take... So yeah, there you go. He does Earthquake us. That's fine. A little bit more of Life Orb damage is good on the Mammoth Swine. Again, Dragonite is our win condition here. And I don't think he wants to sack. I can't imagine he wants to sack this Mammoth Swine. So I'm expecting the Gyarados switch. So 
we're gonna sword dance. Ah, I don't know. We're gonna bullet punch. He might just stay in. No. So he does make the right play and goes right into Gyarados. <laughs> and and Pokemon Showdown has my back, I guess, a little bit, and it lets me. Oh, you know what? He's definitely gonna. Okay, substitute. Um, and now I guess we just start hitting him with bullet punches. I want to guess he has Roar or Dragon Tail on this. He just goes right for the waterfall. All right. Um, bullet punch again. We get a weak in this. Gyarados would have really liked to take it out, but what are you gonna do? Um into Breloom. Pretty sure we take it out with Bullet Seed. Oh, and he bounces. Sneaky. Alright. Um, bounce definitely takes us out. If it doesn't, we'll want to... Spore, maybe? Yeah, but Bounce is definitely going to take us out. So this isn't looking too good for us. He kind of got some good... You know, I kind of thought we were in good in a good place when we took out the fortress without so little effort. Um, I'm gonna go right for extreme speed. Don't want him to break my uh, my multi scale. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that was a misplay. But here we go. He goes into syllabi. I guess we have to set up here. He goes right for the psychic. Uh, and it looks to be fairly offensive to do that much damage. Um, because we set up again, we might be able to just Oko. Let's try double Dragon Dance. Because my thought process here, we can maybe take out Mamoswan with a plus two extreme speed. So as long as we can take out the Syllabi, so we take out the Syllabi, now he has to bring in Mamoswan, and I think we actually have this game in the bag because I'm pretty sure at plus two extreme speed he goes into Chansey. Now that's a good play. Um, because uh, I just assumed he might want to jump and go into his Mammoth Swine. Um, so, Chansey, I'm gonna run a quick calc actually. Okay, sorry about that, I was just doing a uh, little calcs, just seeing if maybe Extreme Speed could 2 it KO. But I do have to Outrage here to take out the Chansey. Um, and if I Outrage, then I lock myself in and I can't take out Mamoswine. So I have to hope maybe he misclicks here as I go for the Extreme Speed. And see, he went for the Thunder Wave, which is definitely a misplay. Um... So, maybe if I get a, <laughs> if I, obviously if I get a crit or something. So, but that might have been, I think that was max damage though, if I'm being honest. Maybe I should have gone for the burn. I wasn't really expecting him to go for a thunder wave. Um, maybe he doesn't have seismic toss? Oh my gosh, why would he thunder wave again? Uh... So as long as I don't get parried, I win. Uh, plus two priority. As long as I... There it is. Oh well. So I mean, what are you going to do? That's a bit of hacks, but he really had that win if he played it out a little bit better. Um, but he, I mean, he deserved that win. It, just in the... I mean, obviously he didn't... <laughs> he didn't play the Chansey very well, but there you go. That is just a little bit of gameplay above the 2000 rating. Uh, I know at least one of you had wanted to see it, and I hadn't done a Pokemon Showdown Live in a while, so I wanted to do one, because <laughs> they're fun. So we went two in one, that's decent, and we actually, we very, very easily could have done three and oh if we hadn't just got the para right at the end there. But there you go, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll probably be doing another Pokemon Showdown Live within a couple days. I haven't done them in a while. I enjoy them. And get ready for Pokemon X and Y. Oh, it's getting so close. It's like uh, 15, maybe 14 days. It's like two weeks away. It's nuts. Um, and we're going to be playing that like crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.